Good evening, everybody. Laura is off tonight. They're causing quite the cluck around Indianola, but it's not the chickens making those sounds. Rather, their neighbors are. KCCI's Jason Randall is live in the newsroom to explain. Jason? Ta Chris Arndt, her husband and two sons have several pets, not your house dog or cat, but six birds of the duck and chicken variety. And neighbors aren't without opinions, especially with a city ordinance that says they're breaking the rules. <laughs> Head on over to the Arndt's home in northwest Indianola, and you may be met by a few feathered friends. Come on. Three hens, three ducks. This is Red Dot. Not exactly your ordinary house pets. Right here is Teeny. But in the middle of June, the Arnts received a notice. They couldn't have their feathered friends anymore. There's an ordinance in town that says no domesticated birds. The city said someone complained. They now have until September 15th to get rid of the animals. We've had a lot of support, and I just hope that the city council uh, chooses to change the ordinance to allow birds to stay in town. Arnt hopes an online petition and Facebook page to allow chickens and ducks will sway city leaders before a final ruling is made in two weeks. It is frustrating. However, not everyone agrees. They were, it was just everywhere, and you get it everywhere. It's just kind of, it's just gross. Neighbor Phyllis McConnell says the birds have been leaving behind a few, let's call them presents, all over the yard, causing quite the odor. The smell. We are north of them, and we get the smell. We don't sit outdoors very often because of the smell. McConnell says it wasn't her who complained, but adds there are other neighbors who can't stand the smell. I hate for them to have to get rid of their pets, but, you know, they're our front window. They're here in our front yard. Um, we don't enjoy them. I haven't heard anybody um, complain to us about having birds. Uh, I know that nobody has said anything negative to us. Whether for or against, residents will soon have a chance to state their case. Public meeting is set for August 18th. The city says they've known about the ducks and chickens in town. They just wouldn't enforce unless there was a complaint. And Jason, did you have a chance to talk to anybody from the city then today? Yeah, I did. I talked with the mayor today. He says they'll do one of three things. They will either continue to enforce that law, they'll let people have ducks with permission, or they will allow all ducks and chickens with certain guidelines in place. All right, more to come. Thank you very much, Jason.